Alright guys, so get ready to cut this tree down right here. Um, I don't know if it's any good or not. Uh, it's been dead for quite a while now. I'm uh, really hoping um, that it is still good. Um, I don't know. We're just going to cut it down. Figure out if not, it sure won't hurt to get it down. It's kind of close. It could hit a couple of sheds here or the trailer or something. And I don't want that. So, um, like I said, we're going to cut this down and see how good it is. And go from there. Alright guys, so I thought I'd show you this little gizmo here. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, when I first saw this thing and what it, they say it could do and all this and that, um, I was really kind of uh, skeptical on it, um, but I watched some of their advertisements and they have a video on it and stuff like that um, but uh, I tell you what I got this machine and I would recommend it to anyone hands down um, this thing is awesome um, it's called portable winch this thing has saved his back yes, this summer time. <laughs> What it is, is um, you're, it's friction based, kind of like on sailboats. I forget the technical name for them. The, but what it is, is your rope comes in here and goes around and tightens down. And when that tightens down on that drum, it pulls whatever you're, like I'm going to be pulling these logs. Um, it pulls your logs. Um, it's just a little Honda motor. Um, I mean, just a small little thing. It's the whole thing weighs 33 pounds. And um, how, how many times have you packed that on your back? Oh, I've, I've, this thing, <laughs> anybody that's, like, doesn't have, you know, access to horses and mules or something like that. Four that wheeler. hunts back in pretty good. Um, this thing, this thing here will, hands down, pull out an elk or a moose, um, on their... Um, their advertisement, one of their advertisements, they're pulling a moose with this thing. And uh, I, they say this one here will pull 2,200 pounds. Um, they're not, I, I'll be honest, they're not exactly cheap. Um, I think this here one is like $1,400. Um, so you might have to save up some money and or take on a couple extra jobs or something to get it but um i'll tell you what this thing is awesome i mean just incredible and it, it will pull i pulled this here gas tank you can see it um I, I don't know it's like a quart and a half maybe something like that i'm not even sure what it is exactly but it's little it's small, I man. You can see it by my hand how big this thing is. Um, I pulled 19 trees that were 20, 26 foot 6 inches. The full length of the rope, which this rope is 164 feet, I believe it is. Pulled, pulled 19 trees and only used three quarters of a tank of gas. That's pretty impressive. Um, it comes just with this and then it also comes with this strap this goes around trees and then hooks on to the back here and uh, then that pulls uh, then you hook your rope up and pull I'll show you this how it all works but <clears throat> man th this thing like she says saved my back I mean it's incredible and it's worth taking on the extra jobs to get it because we had to do the same thing <laughs> yeah, yeah we did but um i mean this thing is worth its weight in gold mm -hmm. I, I can't say enough uh, again the name of it is portable winch um we're not affiliated with them or nothing they're from canada um but um i'll tell you what this thing is awesome that thing has saved us so much here on the homestead. Yeah. And it also yeah. has given me yep. peace of mind knowing when he's out there because he's an ox and he'll try to pull him himself if he can't find another resource. So I was um, happy for it. 
I also use this a lot for cutting firewood, um, pulling you know trees up over the mountainside and stuff like that, cutting firewood. I mean, it's I can't say enough um, about it. It's just an awesome, awesome machine. Didn't you move the one truck with that too? Yeah, yeah. You can you can you can pull a truck with this thing. They like I said on the in the advertisements and stuff. They have video clips and stuff of stuff different people doing stuff, and it pulled a full-size Chevy pickup that was stuck in the mud pulled it out of there so it's pretty impressive <laughs> um, here's something I made they have uh, something similar to this um, I just didn't want to spend the money on it um, but uh, it's what I did is I took a 55 gallon drum a plastic drum and uh, cut it in half and then I just folded it over on itself and made like a cone shape type thing. I ran this bar down here, put carriage bolts up through, and put pieces of metal as like almost like washers on the inside. And bolted the overlaps all together. And what happens is I have this choker that I go around the tree with. And then the cable comes up through the top, and you hook your rope, which is right here. You hook that on to your choker, and there you go. You pull, and then your, the front of your log isn't digging into stuff. It isn't um, catching on, on stuff, you know. Um, you come to a tree or something where it normally would would dig into the side it just shoots off off of it it's this is worth making too if you if you ever decide to get one of these things um, I'm gonna get it set up here and uh, show you how it works so see you in a little bit all right so uh, this is all there is to it really um, now this is a pretty small tree here um, I mean it gets bigger but like I said, I've I hold those 20, 24 or 26 foot six trees out, and some of the bigger ones were every bit of like that, and it 26 six, and it pulled them no problem. Um, but I'll show you how this works. Just taking them in over your your log, cinch down that, bring this cone. Just set this cone, and you don't have to get it just perfect. You can put it like that, if so it's up over that lip. Like I said, they make a special thing. That's kind of where I got a little bit of the idea for this. Um, but I just couldn't see spending the money for it. I don't know what it costs, to be honest with you, but I wasn't going to find out when I could make something myself. And then uh, you just took your hook on. And uh, that, when that pulls, it'll pull up into the comb and that choker chokes down and it'll, everything will pull together and it'll just run. So we're going to go back here, start this up and pull it up. What we're going to do is I have it hooked to the front of the truck. You'll see, um, I can't drive in here because it's kind of soft. Um, but, and my backhoe is broke and I'm not much of a hydrostatic man. So I got to do some work to that figure excuse me figure something out but um so we'll get back there and we'll show you how this all is going if any of you guys are hydrostatic guys you can email us at survive at treyerwilderness.com yeah <laughs> all right so all i did is i took this car ramp that i built and uh i just set this on top of um on top of here to keep it level with the front hook of my truck and uh, just hooked it and set it right on there. Um, they make special adapters for these things that go on the bottom that you can actually hook onto the into the hitch of your truck and, and all they make all kinds of cool stuff for that but um, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> so um, move this over just a touch. I'm gonna start it up and then I'll show you how this works show you how I set it, how it's set up, and then show you the log being pulled. So, here it goes. Best to let it warm up a little bit. I 
just stuck it in this bucket, this rope. I just stuck it in the bucket, it kind of makes it nice. I can just feed it right in there and it keeps it getting all jumbled up. And they make bags and stuff for this. Easy though. There you go. That's all there is to it. Um, like I said, these things are awesome, 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 awesome. I've pulled a lot of big logs with them and stuff like that, and I, they're well worth their weight in gold. That's for sure. Saved me a lot of hassle, <laughs> a lot of hassle over the years. So. Um, I'd suggest any homesteader, or wouldn't even have to be a homesteader for that matter, um, anybody gets firewood and that, um, maybe look into them. Um, portable winch, um, I, you can find them on the internet, I uh, just put in portable winch, I think you can get them at, uh, Northern Tool Company, um, One. but if you want to kind of see what they, what they're capable of and stuff like that if you go to i think it's portable winch.com i believe is is what it is but if you just put in portable winch um you'll find them on the internet so um but i just thought i'd show you this little gizmo uh we're gonna pull another couple logs here and uh get set up on the sawmill so we'll see you in a bit <laughs> 